One of the great things about Google Calendar is that we can embed it in lots of different locations, specifically right within a Blackboard course. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed a specific Google Calendar into your Blackboard course. Here you can see I've got lots of calendars available to me. But I'm specifically using this calendar, Sharing Your Tech Adoption Journey, for my class for the ONE conference. So I'd like to embed that particular calendar inside of my Blackboard course. To do this, I am going to click on the three dots next to my calendar, and I'm going to Settings and Sharing. Mind you, this only works with calendars that you actually have ownership or editing rights to. I'm going to scroll down just a little ways here until I get to Integrate Calendar. I'm looking for the embed code. Even if you're not a coder or don't know much about what the code means, that's okay. All we really need to do is select the embed code, copy it, and that's the end of step one. Now we're going to go back into our Blackboard course. Here you can see I'm in our course shell. And instead of using the Blackboard calendar, I'm going to be using the Google calendar. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come in to the Google calendar here and click edit. And in this case, I want to leave those initial instructions. But now I'm going to shift over to HTML mode. If you don't see the HTML button, you'll, if yours looks more like this, you'll want to click this little drop down and then we're going to use the HTML button there. When I click that, you'll notice that another window has popped up. I'm just going to go into this open space here, so I hit return twice. I right click and I paste. And there it is. That's my HTML code pasted in. I'm going to click update. And now you can see here that I have a yellow box. That yellow box indicates what my calendar looks like. I'm going to click submit. And now you can see what my calendar looks like. Sharing your tech adoption journey is here. It's set to my month. Most importantly, my users can actually click on that and subscribe right to it. And the best part of all is when I make changes to my calendar, when I refresh my calendar, as I just did, you can see that that second assignment appears right inside of my Blackboard course. Now, if you're using the Blackboard course shell, once you have Google Calendar all set up and embedded, you can actually come in and delete the Blackboard Calendar tool because you only need to use one of the calendaring tools. For those of you who use Google Classroom, your Google Classroom is already creating a Google Calendar for you for that particular Google class. This would be an excellent option to embed into your Blackboard class. And that's how you embed a Google Calendar directly into your Blackboard course.